Welcome to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven. I'm Alec. And today, Alec tries Texas whiskey for the first time. Ah! To be more specific, today we're reviewing Garrison Brothers Burr Bone. Texas Burr? Texas, Texas Burr Corn. from Texas Corn Born? Born in High Texas. And so Garrison Brothers Bourbon. Um, bottle comes out to about 80 bucks. It's bourbon from Texas. So I guess yeah. what what's like the main difference between this and other American it's, whiskey? It's bourbon from Texas. But so so the climate change. In Texas, well, yeah, that's so a big more aggressive though. that the aging process is wild there. Like you have a super hot summer, you can overage whiskey real quick, where it becomes only wood. Versus like Kentucky, things are like normal. Like it's like you know, moderate. Yeah, yeah, moderate change things crazy. change. Okay. Texas is aggressive. Okay. So whiskey ages extremely different in Texas. So that causes an extremely different flavor profile. And it's a super big like art of knowing when to do whiskey in Texas. Like when to pull it out, you know. The whole distilling process. Yeah, works. yeah. Being a Texas distiller sounds like a freaking nightmare. So that's why we just drink it. Let's go ahead and get it in the nose. Let's get your... It smells Ooh. like it's way more bold. Dark, dark oak. This literally dark, smells like wood. Dark cherries. Dark like red apples. Mm. But like yeah, this is bold. Like I'm getting like leather, tobacco, oak. Tobacco, really? Yeah, dude. Sm smell this and tell me it doesn't smell like a humidor. Not not like the dingy like vibe uh, of it. I can kind of see like, it. Like, like, like the just just the smell. Right. Well, I think that what you like, you know, usually get like a spiciness out of, you know, some whiskeys and bourbons. This has got that same feel to it, but it's different. I guess that's the tobacco. After you said spice, I'm getting a little bit of like a black pepper spice. That too. That too, for sure. But like a lot of like tobacco, leather, mm. a little bit of dark chocolate, maybe. Maybe. I think the wood is just like... But yeah, it's it's aggressive. This yeah. thing, this this isn't sitting down and you know taking it easy. This is this is full send, Texas, full America, Texas kind of style. All right, let me get this shit. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, tobacco on the taste. Yeah. That I can actually get. Tobacco, leather, mm -hmm. cherries. There, I'm getting a lot of vanilla and honey towards the end and the finish. Damn, that's like... 447% though, like, it's Texas whiskey doesn't mess around. Yeah, it's got a kick <laughs> to it for sure. That's interesting though. Man, that, yeah. like, that is like so different from like regular bourbon though. Just like the front facing flavor is just... It's not anything I would expect from a classic bourbon. Yeah. Oh my god, so much leather and tobacco, which usually I hate, but it's so much yeah. that it's becoming something I really like. Yeah, well I think it's a good mix of leather and tobacco. Yeah. This mm. is like, it's crazy bold. It's, it's out of the blue, like, there's bourbon, and then there's Texas bourbon. Like, I feel like normal Kentucky bourbon or like, you know, anything of that nature is like a completely different flavor profile than Texas bourbon. Absolutely. I would say, even though a lot of people aren't gonna like this because Tennessee whiskey is technically different from bourbon, Tennessee whiskey still technically fits the bourbon category, so I call it, consider it bourbon, but like, I think bourbon, like normal Kentucky bourbon and Tennessee whiskey are far more similar in taste profiles than Texas bourbon. Like, I, I feel like Texas that. bourbon is so different that, you know, it's, oh my God. Well, it's, just, it's weird because this is- Mind boggling. This isn't sweet or savory necessarily. No. I mean, it's a, there's a little bit of sweetness at the end, but a it's little earthy, bit. it's dark. Yeah. Like this could be more- It wants its lunch money. <laughs> I guess, yeah. 
The finish is moderate. It's not super like long, everlasting, which makes sense coming out at 47. So the flavors, they hit you really freaking hard. They last there for a little bit. So it's not a short yeah. finish, but I would say it's about moderate. It kind of like, it, it gets you there, you're going with it. And then it kind of flows off into right. the ether. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, like you, know, like you said, it kind of sticks around for a minute, but this isn't going to be something like a barrel proof or whatnot that you, no. you know, it takes I mean, you five seconds to get through the flavor profile. I kind of want to get this in barrel proof now, but you should. That's another story. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right. So now getting into our suggestions. Mm. What do you think about this whiskey? What grade are you giving this? Oof. Um... So again, this is a shorty, but a normal yeah. bottle eight bucks. comes out at roughly 80 bucks at Toy right. Wine, 80 to 85. So it ain't cheap. I'm gonna say if you're an experienced bourbon kind of drinker and you're looking for something that's gonna be truly different, this would be a good bottle to get. I think that if you are a first time bourbon drinker, this is not the bottle to get. This could easily skew your entire opinion of bourbon. So it's a weird, kind of situational bottle to get, I'm going to give it a B minus strictly based on the price for it because at 80 bucks, what you get is what you get. And if you haven't had a lot of bourbons before, if you, or if you are a very dedicated uh, flavor profile of, you know, the sweeter or the more savory or anything that's in like the regular bourbon profile, this is just out of nowhere. So you could, it's just a big hit or miss. That's, I think it's just not safe yeah. as far as what you're getting out of your money. So B minus. I personally give it, I'm gonna go B minus as well. Yeah. I hate, I hate agreeing with you, but I agree for very similar reasoning as this is an aggressive bottle. It is super challenging which I love. Yeah, I think this is a wonderful whiskey. And if you haven't tried any sort of Texas whiskey previously, definitely go out and try it because it's a new category. Or it's not necessarily a new category, but it's- New subcategory. Yeah, it's a subcategory of American whiskey that I feel like is so much different and bold that it fits outside of your typical realm of what classifies as a bourbon or a rye. Given, yes, this is bourbon. I'm not gonna lie. It's obviously, it says bourbon legally. Right. They can't write that on the bottle without it. But it's so much different than your typical bourbon that it fills its own category and it's something to definitely look into. But if you're starting off, don't look into Texas, Texas whiskey. Bourbon. Yeah, yeah or te Texas whiskey at all. Yeah. It's super duper aggressive. If you are just like, if you're in it, and you haven't tried Texas whiskey? You should do so. Yeah. It's expensive because, well, it's kind of one of those hey, like, like, and whatnot. Hey, like Steve's got here, the shorty bottle, 50 bucks. That, yeah. I think, is not a bad idea, especially just for a taster. Yeah, it's, yeah, to start off, definitely get the shorty. And like, the price difference isn't much, but like, you can't go wrong. It's a great bottle for challenging. Not everyday drinking. But like when I want an aggressive bottle that's not barrel-proof, Texas whiskey all the way. Yeah. He thinks he's gonna take that home. He ain't. You don't even know that. But yeah, do us a favor, go out and buy some Texas whiskey if you're into whiskey already. If not, diddle daddle a little bit before you get into it. That's our suggestion. But please hit the like button, subscribe, give us a comment, let us know what you thought about this video. Yeah, we got our social medias. Check out the Instagram, check out the Facebook. You'll probably find us somewhere, anywhere. Give us the like, support us, thank you. And in the meantime, let's take us back to the cattle ranch. Cheers.